for many questions like that, I feel like the underlying question that the person wants to ask but doesn't is like, uh, is there a secret trick? Is, is there something uh, that uh, like LGMs know and we don't? Um, no, there isn't. <laughs> right. You need, you need to solve a lot of problems. Right. So there's no secret key. There's no way that you can just do that in an easy way. You, you need to do that in the hard way. Practice yes. a lot. Yes. Gosh. Another question that is that if you had a brother or sister, you wanted them to become an LGM in CF, how would you advise them so that they can both grow in CF and love this field? I think you answered it kind of in the previous question, but if you have anything to add about this question. Um, so, well, if I had a sibling uh, and they wanted to do it, right. there is a very important uh, thing that I, uh, I consider that person uh, doing competitive programming and wanting to improve, like really enjoys it. And they want it um, because it is interesting for them, not because like uh, they need to reach some uh, rating, like right. to, to put it on a resume or something. Like for people like that, I don't know what, like I, I, just, I haven't been in similar situations, so I cannot apply my experience to that. Right. Uh, I always like uh, did like mass and physics and competitive programming um, because I enjoyed the process. Yeah. Uh, and so if my uh, imaginary sibling uh, doesn't want to do it, then it's totally normal. It, it is not imperative to love competitive programming. <laughs> like, you can do something else. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if they uh, do want to do it, well, yeah, I would say that mostly you need to solve problems and just uh, work on your own but if i would uh, have a sibling i would probably try to um like tutor them somehow uh i i am kind of interested in like um could i like help someone to uh, to become uh, better in some like, structured way. Right. Um, we will probably never know. Like <laughs> I uh, sometimes uh, joke about like I want to have a child so that I can see if I can make them <laughs> great as competitive <laughs> program. <laughs> Um, like because I, I will have control over like big part of their life, right? And so like I can structure <laughs> uh, how how they uh, train, uh, and I can teach them so that probably would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I mean that depends a lot on like I cannot control whether uh, my imaginary child will love competitive programming. If not, then there is nothing I can do. Right. <laughs> I mean, probably I can still make them good, but by like breaking their life, uh, that's not something I want to do. Uh, I like. That will still require years of training. So, like, even if 
you have an access to a like, personal tutor 24-7 and the tutor is like your parent and the, they want to dedicate their whole life in making, uh, making you the best competitive program ever. I still think that it will take years and like I might make it faster but not by much. Like you, you still need to solve 10,000 problems. Like, I don't know, 10,000 is a random number. I, I'm not sure if I solve 10,000 problems. I, maybe. Like, I, I think it's somewhere around that. Right. Um, so you have to solve 10,000 like, problems. You need to solve some number of problems. Yeah. <laughs> right. Gosh. So you have to, you, what you mean is that Anyway, they should solve a lot of problems. There's, there's no magic trick in here. Mm -hmm. No magic trick. And I also believe that, I personally believe that in order to reach a massive success, there are two keys, obsession and hard, hard work. That's basically what you said as well. Obsession makes you want that. I mean, if you don't do this, you, you will feel, uh, you know, your, your life doesn't have colors anymore you know if, if you don't do that and that is basically what i'm uh trying to do i'm trying to find what i have the obsession for for example i have the obsession to do something big but maybe i don't have the obsession to do many things that other people want to do and it's important to find your obsession and then work hard in there and you don't need to force yourself then you just you are gonna per, you are gonna work a lot if you have obsession if you dream about it. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. 